Welcome back to the CVEL. This is going to be a week two, as I am going to go up against my good buddy Justin. Um, week one, sort of a letdown, um, losing that match, uh, but only by one, so not that bad of differential. Um, but hopefully we can win this one, and hopefully get on track to making playoffs. Because that is always the goal, to make playoffs. Um, so without further, further ado, let us get into the teams. Um, my team, as always, on the left. His team on the right, in order of what I think is most likely going to come. Um, so first off, Gliscor obviously has to come. We both agreed on <laughs> bringing our Gliscors. Um, if he doesn't bring it, shame on him. Um, but it actually does quite nicely falling some things, uh, such as my glass core, uh, helps fall mega diancy if it's bedef, helps fall hit on top, helps fall right without the hidden power ice or water, um, helps fall zero quite nicely, helps fall bronzong, uh, helps deal with dust claps. So more uh, actually does quite nicely against my defensive mods. Is what it's more useful for. Um, then we have Caldio. Caldio, he is a nice threat. Um, I was beating things on uh, everything except Mega Dancy and Zora on my team. Um, will most likely expect it to be a scar set that's what i'm thinking because um it is basically his offensive check to volcarona if it sets up a quiver dance um because nothing really wants to take attack from volcarona after it sets up a quiver dance um and yeah so probably most likely scarf to counter that and a hole in it with a hydro pump um, could very well have um, icy wind um, what else could it have Caldeo um, secret sword Gold could have the sculpts to get possible burns. Um, could have uh, Endeavor. Could be an Endeavor set with Aqua Jet. That would be hilarious to see. Um, heck, could have uh, Stone Edge if he wants to be Scarred Physical. Volcarona, um, with, say, liquidation, um, liquidation, stone edge, close combat, and then some other move. Um, then we have Orotom Heat, um, Probably his best defensive answer to Volcarona. Um, also helps for Roserade. Um, helps uh, deal with Bronzong, um, which I feel like you might struggle with. Um, Rotom Heat, not really sure he's going to bring it possibility um probably of the top three the most likely to be switched out um Caldeo and Gliscor I have like a more around like 80 90 percent chance of coming uh moving down it's like 70 percent or like six, 60 percent uh from Rotom Heat all the way down to uh, Ladias, and then 
uh, Ambipom, Fruvivion, it's more like uh, 40% and then I don't really see Frostless coming. Um, but anyways, um, Electric from the Roto Meat would be nice for Azumarill, but Water from Azumarill would also be nice against the Roto Heat. So it will kind of a toss up if you bring that. Then we have the Dewblade. Dewblade is his best physical wall, um, at least in regards to walling things such as uh, Azumarill, because looking at his team, nothing on his team really wants to take uh, water or fairy from Azumarill. Um, even Tapu Bulu would have to fear an Ice Punch, um, but, yeah, um, Dewblade, he is also a nice wall for the Gliscor, um, yeah, if Gliscor doesn't have a ground move, which would most likely be Earthquake, but he has that Bulu with Grassy Terrain to weaken that. So it doesn't have to worry about that. Uh, helps while Rose Raid, if Rose Raid isn't running like some kind of hidden power for it. Helps while hit him on top and stop spin blocking, uh, which could be real nice for him if he wants to try and, well, he doesn't really have hazard stacks. He only, well, I guess he does if he brings Frost last, then that's what I know he's going to do with it. Um, and it is more easily counterable. Um, and it makes his team more predictable. Um, if I do see that. Um, helps wall Kamala quite nicely. Helps wall Mega Diancy. Helps wall the Bronzong. Uh, helps wall Dusclop. And helps wall Cloyster. So probably his best wall in this matchup is going to be that two blades so kind of would be surprised not to see it but you never know he might not go defensive and might go uh, full offensive against me um which is totally possible then we have to have blue like i mentioned before it sets up grassy terrain um reduces the earthquake damage against two blade um Grass is nice for Azumarill as long as it's not Sap Sipper. Um, grass is nice for Mega Diancy. Uh, nice for Cloyster. Um, could very still does a lot to Cloyce or Gliscor and with the grassy terrain up. Um, could see possible Scarf with like Rock Slide. Um, Could see it with superpower to help with things such as High Dragon and Kamala since it doesn't really have a physical fairy move, which is kind of dumb in my opinion. I totally think it should get played rough. But then it'd be so much better. Um, then we have Latias. Latias is, as shown in week one, can actually be brought. Um, Maybe Dax will send him his set that he was going to use against me. Who knows? Um, but Psyshock is nice. Uh, Draco Meteor is nice. Um, Steel Wing for Mega Diancy. Who knows? Um, also gives him Devogger, gives him Wish support um, if he is going for a more bulkier team. Um, could be scarped to also uh, speed full corona after a quiver dance. Um, it. Uh, no, it's rock move. It's in power rock. Uh, um, could have fly, I guess. Hmm. If it is, um, hmm. don't know. Um, but yeah, that's that.
Then we have Amber Bomb. Amber Bomb is quite a nice bring. Gives him solid fake out support with the technician boosted fake off. Um, can flinch things that I try to set up like my Volcarona, like my Cloister, um, which like to set up their speeds. Um, gives him U-turn momentum, uh, which is fast or slow if I try to outspeed it with a scarf room. Um, and Bupon gets quite a lot of coverage, um, both physically and specially. Um, could technically baton pass something, um, like maybe a nasty plot, uh, into Keldeo, like a Scar Keldeo that could be uh, no bueno for me. Um, could technically pass speed. Uh, if speed was passed into, say, um, I'd say either Tapu Pulu or Keldeo, that could be a problem, maybe. Um, and yeah. Um, then we have. Mega Alakazam, probably not as likely as Latias, uh, because would have to fear Scarfers. Um, very frail physically, so would have to be worried about Aqua Jet coming off of Azumarill or a Ice Shard coming off of Cloyster. Um, Fing can Wallet. Um, if Volcarona sets up a Quiver Dance, it will outspeed it. Um, unlike with a Scarf Lottie, um, but very well could be brought, um, does outspring, outspeed Zeroot naturally, so could bring it just for that, um, and would, would hit hard with Psychic type attacks, uh, except against High Dragon, but, uh, it does get Dazzling Gleam, which is four times effective against Hydreigon. Um, so, would have to be worried about that. Um, next up, Kama O. Kama O is only really good if it can set up like a Dragon Dance uh, against me. Um, besides that, not so much. Um, Forgot to mention that Ambipalm is one of his C users as well as Como O. Um, so would have to watch out for that. Luckily, uh, the Como special Z move is banned. Um, so it says Omni boosting. That is a no go. But it could see things such as a, I believe it gets Poison Drop. Uh, for my fairies, um, could very well run Shadow Claw for my bulkier things such as Dusclops and Bronzong, and then have something like um, Drain Punch for recovery. Who knows? Um, but then it runs into the problem of breaking things such as Hit on Top with the Intimidate, or even Gliscor with its natural bulk. Um, and yeah, then we have Umbreon, Umbreon, uh, is really only good as a cleric, um, and it gets blown back by quite a few of my offense, or like my main offensive threats, um, Volcarona, Bug, Super Effective, as a mineral, play rough, um, Mega Dancy, Moonblast will blow it back. Um, Zero gets close combat, um, and yeah, um, Gliscor could stall it out with Toxic, um, Rosary could technically do the same thing, Hit on top could blow it back with Fighting Move, so probably won't see Umbreon, Vivian, and... Eh. 
as I keep on going over it and it being one of his Z-Move users, Milan could actually play an important role, um, but I would actually more likely see it Sash so it could set up a possible Quiver Dance and then try and blow me back with like uh, Hurricane, uh, Kicka Drain, and Bug Buzz. Could be Sash with Sleep Powder. I believe it gets Sleep Powder if I'm remembering correctly. Um, don't really see Vapor on that often, so yeah, it does get Sleep Powder. And with uh, Compound Eyes, that accuracy is boosted by 1.3 times. So yeah. What kind of might have to watch out for that. Um, and last but not least, Frost Last, if I do see it coming, it is going to be a Spike Stacker. Um, otherwise, most likely Sashed with also Destiny Bond. Uh, gets blown back by Volcarona as we all high Dragon. Um, guess it deals with Glisgor and Roserade. Hit him on top. It's immune to. Fighting, but can't really do anything back. Um, can't really do anything to Kamalo. Mega Dancy blows it back. Say Oral can blow it back. Uh, Ronzon can blow it back. Um, can't really do anything to Dusclops and Cloyster. Um, so, yeah, that is what I think about his team. Now to get into my team. First off, we are bringing in Dax the uh, Mega Dancy. Um, Self Rackwing Blast Diamond Storm Hit Power Ice. Enough speed to outspeed Keldeo. Um, this is most likely going to be my lead, unless I am thinking that he is actually going to lead with Keldeo. Um, and then I would have to try and figure out if it is scarfed or maybe it's an assault vest set. Who knows? Um, but Moonblast is real nice for that. Kaldeo, the Lottie, um, Umbreon, Como O, uh, technically I guess Ambipom. Diamond Storm is nice for that Rotom Heat for, uh, Alexam, which has pretty physical defense. It's good for Vivillon, it's good for Frostlast, and then Hidden Power Ice basically. Uh, covers Gliscor and Tapu Bulu. Um, so don't, only thing it doesn't really hit super effectively um, is that Dewblade. So moving on, I am bringing a guy that is Zoom Meryl, Joy's Bandit, Huge Power Player of Liquidation, Knockoff, Aqua Jet. Um, Enough speed to outspeed a non invested Umbreon. Of course, max attack uh, will get off a lot of damage with play rough on anything um, except the Rotom Heat, which wouldn't want to take something like a Liquidation uh, or the Dew Blade, which can't take two knockoffs. Um, Aqua Jet is nice priority for that Mega Alexam or maybe Vivillon if it sets up that Quiver Dance. Um, Play Rough is real, real nice for that Como. Oh, and Caldeo. Um, with this, I decided to put the extra into Spadef and not HP, uh, mainly because um, Adios and Caldeo as well as Rotom Heat are going to be attacking with special attacks and they're probably going to be doing more damage to this than his other mons. Um, so it's better to invest in the Spadef than the HP uh, for overall defense. Um, and yeah. Next up I have Nada the High Dragon, Choice Square Flavitate, U-Turn, Head Smash, Crunch, Defog. Um, enough speed to out speed. Um, 
Vivalon, natural plus one. That smash will blow it back. That smash is nice for the Rotom Heat, which this can wall naturally, resisting both of its stabs. Um, that smash is also technically nice for um, the Frostless. Um, Crunch is nice for his Latias and his Dublade and his Mega Alakazam. And U turn is there for pivoting. Um, if I think he's going to switch, which he probably is going to, and Defog uh, might switch Defog out for an attack and move. I'll look over it a bit before more before the battle, but Defog is real nice for my, I guess, win condition. Same with the Magic Bounce, and of course that is Spectrum of the Volcarona, uh, Flying MZ, Flame Body, Clover Dance, Fire Dance, Hurricane, Bug Buzz. Um, enough speed to out speed. He is. Gliscor, um, because the other faster things than it are, of course, naturally faster than it. But I will outspeed after a quiver dance. Um, after plus one, I should be able to body everything in one hit, except maybe the Rotom Heat, which I guess could thunder wave me, so we'll have to watch out for that. Um, Probably won't instantly set up a quiver dance with this. Um, fire dance is nice, gives me that chance to raise my special attack. Um, Hurricane is real nice for the, I guess, technically Bulu, the mainly for the Keldeo and the Como O because those resist my two steps. Um, and yeah, Bug Buzz is real nice for his double psychics as well as his Umbreon. So we'll do a lot of damage with this. Um, moving on. Of course, I am bringing just in the Gliscor, Yashiguri, Poison Hill, Acrobatic, Stone Edge, U Turn, Defog. Um, an Armand to get rid of rocks because I don't really want those up to help Spectrum the Volcarona. U turn, of course, once again, pivoting option would help me get into something that can blow my, the mod in front of me away. Um, Stone Edge is nice for the Rotom Heat, as well as Vibulon and the Frostless. Um, Acrobatics is nice for his Caldeo, his Coma O, and his Tap of Wulu. Um, you know what, uh, I'm thinking of changing this to a Pesho Berry. Let's change this Pesho, Pesho Berry, because it's more likely to attack me with a water move. Wizard Hill is there because his other abilities in that villain hypercutter won't really help. And even though I'm not running a Toxic Orb, it could be a switch into Toxic, which is real nice. And yeah. Last but not least, we have Antoine the Dust Club. You light frisk will with pain split nightshade memento. Um, this is kind of a good way with dealing with Bulu and Como O. Um, if they try and set up, memento is nice to weaken things and give me a chance to get in my spectrum the Volcarona and not take a lot of damage, uh, which will probably let me take a at least one free setup with that, um, as well as help me scout out the items on his mods uh, to figure out what he's doing with his team. Um, and yeah, might change the EV spread on this 
be it more physically defensive. Uh, I'll run some more calcs with that. Um, trying to remember specifically why I ran, especially. Um, with this set, if Como gets plus one, will not be able to KO me, but I don't think I calc a Swords Dance Tapu Blue. Which might be a problem. Versus the Tampu Blue. Hack Graffiti and Choice Banded. Um, I see. I don't even need Sassy. Let's make it gold. Oh gosh, even physically too hands of a choice bandit. Well blow me back. Um hmm. How much games on Ace Max Lanius doing to me? Sassy. Um, Shadow Ball. Actually, let's go with Ball. Just to see. It's uh, defense. I'd still need two twenty four in that. Um There we go. Um, that way, choice spec shadow ball won't too ca it KO me. Um, and that is my team for this matchup. Hopefully, I don't get blown back by an uh, choice banded tap of blue. <laughs> but even then, um, Volcarona should be able to. Take a hack even Volcarona. Doesn't really like taking a wood hammer, but has the chance to play burn with that flame body. So catch you for the battle, which will be going up tomorrow, probably around the same time. Um so bye bye!